Hey there, Dr. Janine Krause, wanting to talk about how to boost your athletic confidence. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, have you ever been on a hike and like saw your friends kind of go up the steep, kind of scree, rock filled, you know, field and you're like, oh man, am I gonna roll my ankle? Like, oh, I'm not really sure about this. Or have you ever seen people like climbing over rocks and you're like, oh my gosh, what if I fall? What the heck? Well, wouldn't it be nice if you had the like sureness of yourself that you had the balance dialed in, you had the cardiovascular capability, you had the strength, and you had the mindset that like, dude, I got this. My athletic confidence is like on point. Well, for a lot of people who are returning to fitness after an injury or returning to fitness just after a break because they had kids, life got in the way, these things can be a real factor. So what do you wanna be thinking about in this case? Well, first and foremost, you really want to make sure you have a target. Like, where do you wanna go? What's your goal? What are you doing this for? Is it so you can hike with your friends so that nobody's leaving you behind and you're having to have people wait for you? Is it so that you're just like able to crush an event? Maybe you wanna run a marathon. Maybe you wanna do a 5K. Maybe you wanna do a triathlon or a little mini Ironman or a big Ironman. Whatever it may be, all of these things are achievable as we get older. Don't let age make you think this is not possible. It's totally possible. And with the help of someone who understands what you're doing, you can crush all of these things. The biggest factor I see in the fitness industry is there's a whole lot of emphasis on crushing workouts and pushing it to the limits, but we're not thinking about the crucial factors of building athletic confidence. So of course, having a target and plan so you have a program, right? Like with, with progressions so that you know how you need to progress over time. So breathing, huge factor. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've heard me say that we all are under breathing, like literally under breathing, but over breathing. Sounds weird, but we're short breathing, meaning we're not taking effective breaths to allow for our body to build up carbon dioxide and release oxygen from the blood to the tissues. We're under oxygenated. That's a problem because if we don't have enough oxygen going up here, we don't have enough oxygen to our tissues and nerves, we're not going to feel confident in our athletic abilities. Let's think about this for a minute. Have you ever been on a hike and you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm good. I'm in my flow. I feel good. I'm balancing. You know, that log that goes over the stream, you know, you got to balance to get across it to the other side. And you're like, I got this and you do it and it's no problem. But then there's other times where you're like, oh my God, I'm totally going to wipe out. I don't feel, I don't feel good today. I feel a little shaky. This could be a breathing thing. Why? Because we live lives that are stressful. And between each of our athletic events, sometimes we get pretty stressed out and we've got some stressful stuff happening. So we end up having issues with our breathing. If we dial in our breathing and we work on breathing drills while we're working on heights, while we're working on our different progressions in our plan, while we're lifting weights, while we're biking, we can improve our athletic confidence when it comes to looking at that log and going, how am I gonna get across that stream? Water's rushing below. If I fall, it's a big problem. I don't want to get wet. I've got four miles to go and I don't want my feet to be rubbing in those socks and getting blisters. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So breathing, dial that in. Balance. Another big factor, especially as we get older. We don't balance like we did when we were five. It just doesn't happen. That's why it's kind of interesting in yoga to see who's practicing their balance and who isn't so much. And if you're a yogi, that's awesome. Maybe you do have balance down. Awesome, awesome. But do you have balance down on unstable surfaces? When's the last time you stood on a rock and did a tree pose? A rock that might be tilting like this. Challenges, things to be thinking about. When's the last time you took your bike and you balanced just where you were in place? Something to think about. So these are things that are real issues that happen as we get older to, that, that can actually impede our athletic confidence our athletic capabilities. So thinking about balance, every good plan has to have progression with balance, more balance challenges, bouncing a ball while you're doing tree pose. This is agility and balance. So what I like to think about this as, as you're hiking and you're taking a snack or drinking water, it doesn't wipe you out on your face. Multitasking, things to think about. Endurance, this is a real factor as we get older. We want to be training our muscles to build more mitochondria. How does that happen? By working at certain heart rate zones for a certain amount of time. It goes back to your progressions. You start with 10 minutes at, at like 140 to 160. 
You start to push yourself up on your heart rate every minute till you get to 30 minutes. Now you've got 30 minutes at 150, for example, sustained and you're okay. Or you have 30 minutes where you can bring your heart rate down to 120, bring it back up to 150, bring it down to 120, bring it back up to 150. Simulating going up and down hills, stay on your bike. Simulating going up and down hills, crevices, whatever it may be, hiking. The more that you have done this in your training and your progressions, the more your athletic confidence builds. Retesting. You can improve your athletic capabilities and in particular, your conditioning in eight weeks. How do you know? Because you retest. Research has shown this. But a lot of fitness programs I see out there are not retesting. They're not even pre-testing. So you don't know where, what you've had and where you gained. And so a lot of times folks are thinking they haven't gained anything when actually they may have or nothing's happened, possibly because there was no target plan or progression to help with the athletic confidence. So why am I talking all about this? Well, I'm 40 something. I've taken breaks from fitness because work got in the way. I've not pushed it to the limits as much because I felt stressed and tired and fatigued and started to see my athletic capabilities and confidence decline. And it sucked. And I don't want anyone else to have to go through that. I've also seen like friends, feet, hundreds of feet ahead of me on hikes and I'm huffing and puffing and they're like waiting for me. That's kind of embarrassing. Even though they love you, you love them, but still. Also, I married a former pro mountain bike rider. He smoked me all the time on mountain bikes and I want to keep up with him to this day, right? So how do I do that so that we could both be out and enjoy things together? I've got to work target plans and progressions. Now I want other people to be able to join me in staying fit till the day they die. So I have created a program just for folks who are returning to fitness after a break or who really want to boost their athletic confidence as they get older, their athletic capabilities as they get older. If you want more information on this, you can check out all of it at defyagingformula.com. That's where I've got my whole plan and progression that I use with folks to improve athletic confidence, capability, and everything that you need with a solid plan from a doc who gets what it's like to take a break from fitness and slowly come back in so that you can reach whatever goal you want, whether it's to keep up with a significant other, the kids, your friends, or just to be ready if someone calls and you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to go on a hike with you. Yeah, it's steep, cool. How many miles? Awesome, I got this. That's what I'm here for. Because I don't want anybody to give up and chalk things up to aging and just give up on all their outdoor fitness goals or indoor fitness goals for that matter. All right, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. If you want more information on my athletic capability and confidence programs, head over to defyagingformula.com forward slash register. You can check out my free masterclass. Or if you're like, hey, I want to talk to you about your program, head over to chatwithjanine.com and let's talk. Let's see how I can help you to get your goals and get keeping up with folks or just be game ready. Whenever someone calls, you've got the confidence and the capability to just hit whatever goal you're going for that day.